Today we're looking at some simple and straightforward tips for living in the Philippines. 1. Apply for an ACR card after 59 days. An ACR card, an alien certificate of registration, is some ID that you will need in order to open up a bank in the Philippines. There are also other advantages, especially if you're looking to extend your time in the Philippines. Often an ACR card will save you precious time in the immigration service Two, be mindful of handouts. Unfortunately, in the Philippines, poverty is very real and you will see it especially if you're living in some of the metropolitan areas such as Manila. I was actually in this very situation and if I can borrow a few minutes of your time, I'll explain exactly what happened. I was traveling outside of Metro Manila. I was walking down the road and I had a McDonald's restaurant on my left hand side and as soon as I turned the corner just where the restaurant was, I came across a young girl and she must have been anywhere between the age of 22 to 28 but she had a few children with her and she asked for money so naturally I gave her a few hundred pesos thinking nothing of it but then all of a sudden a stampede seemed to arrive there must have been at least 40 people that arrived on that spot there were very few men most of the people that made the group were young mothers anywhere between the age of 20 all the way up to the age of 40 but most of the group were young children and they were jumping up and down asking for money and at this point I was genuinely unsure what to do because the money I gave the lady was all the money I had. So I looked up at the restaurant and I started to see the whole restaurant full of Filipinos looking at me. So then I decided to walk down the street however at this point after maybe five minutes or so the majority of the group were still following me. So then I had the bright idea to have a little jog so I carried on jogging down the street. Some of the group fell behind however as I'm not a very fast runner they were very close behind me still so I then decided to cross the road and what you'll know when you go to Manila is the traffic is horrendous and at times is also very dangerous the logical side of my mind believed that these children would not cross the road because of the dangers but many of them started to cross the road without even looking and it got too dangerous so in the end I walked up to them I opened my bag which I didn't have a lot of things in anyway and just gave them some food and some water and a, and a few bits of paper and pens that I didn't really need anyway but after a few minutes of them checking the bag to make sure there's nothing in there they eventually went on their way in some cases the mother or the father do train them from a very young age to go up to foreigners and ask for money so you need to be very mindful about that in certain areas especially in Manila free each area has its own unique charm so as a whole the Philippines is a very beautiful country and it's actually made up of thousands of different islands each have their own unique personality. This is one of the reasons why the Philippines is one of the best places to live in Southeast Asia. And this is especially useful for you if you're looking to live in the Philippines, because if you're looking for a more fast paced way of life, you can certainly find it in the Philippines. Alternatively, if you are looking to relax and just enjoy life, then a more slower paced and relaxed way of life can certainly be found in the Philippines. Four. Filipinos are known to be late. This is such a well-known occurrence that it actually has a name, Filipino time. So if you're looking to meet someone by 3 p.m., they may in fact turn up at 3.15 or 3.30. However, what I would say is many entrepreneurs understand the cultural difference, especially when it comes to business. So if you are going to the Philippines for business or investment, Filipino time is not always a frequent occurrence. Five, have a backup of essential utilities utilities. In certain parts of the Philippines, unfortunately, natural disasters are common. Most of the time, they're not so much of a big problem. But in some cases, or in times of heavy rain, certain utilities may be affected. And this is very important, especially if you're going to be working online or doing anything on the computer in the Philippines. Thus, if you use the internet every day, it's recommended purchasing a small box as an extra backup for your internet. These remote boxes boxes are called different names depending on what country you're from but normally they're called a Wi-Fi pocket or Wi-Fi dongle and overall it's a very useful tool. Six. 
Mobile banking is used to pay the bills. Through most mainstream banks in the Philippines, you can connect your bank account to pay the bills directly with the suppliers. This is also why an ACR card is also very important when living in the Philippines. Nonetheless, if you are unable to open a banking account in the Philippines for whatever reason, you can still easily pay the bills by visiting the mall or by paying directly in the store. Seven. Negotiation is possible 90% of the time. As a whole, price discrimination is not so much of a well-known occurrence compared to Thailand. However, the Philippines certainly does have certain places and areas where price discrimination does indeed happen. So it's always recommended to negotiate even on the big living expenses, such as the rent. 